I'm Ron Plants, and leading off here at 430, we're trying to find out more about the state's Excelsior Pass program. That's supposed to be that vaccine digital passport app, which you can download on your phone. Well, we're finding out that some folks are having trouble registering for that program after they get their shots. In fact, they're saying they're finding out they're not even listed in the state's database, especially if they got that shot at a pharmacy. Besides some controversy over the program and privacy concerns, people tell us they cannot readily register for the pass with problems occurring as they enter their information and they're worried there is no record of their receiving the vaccine. Here's one example. I got my shot, went at the required time, 14 days, it was actually probably 20 days, and I started signing on to see if I could get my pass. And it keep saying, pass not found, name not found. Okay, I did that a couple of days. Then I reached out to the Excelsior help desk and they told me the exact same thing that is on the website. Becky says she repeatedly tried and does note her husband who got the shots at the same time and location as she did back on April 8th is listed on that database. And she's frustrated as the state touted the system as a first of its kind sophisticated program developed in a partnership with IBM. You're promising something and it's not working. What's going on? So the state through an email from a spokesperson replies that in their view, the problem appears to be at the provider end. That is a pharmacy or others who actually gave the vaccine with the quote, timely entering of data and accuracy of patient information being an issue. Although some pharmacies indicate they have carefully entered that data. Whatever the case, the state also claims they're working with the providers of the vaccine to make sure data was again entered correctly and they maintain the vast majority of people using the Excelsior Pass app report no problems. So we really did not get a direct answer from Albany, but they're checking. In the meantime, if you're really worried about having proof of your vaccination, that vaccination card that you got at the time, that's your real proof and you can make a copy of it. Keep that in your purse or wallet or take a picture of it on your cell phone and just keep that handy. We'll try to have more on this story coming up on Channel 2 News at 6. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.